Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this quick and easy phone case which can be made in any size and would make a great Christmas gift. So for your phone case you will need to use a 4mm crochet hook and I am using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So the first thing that we are going to do for our phone case is we are going to make a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and you want to take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then you want to take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then you want to take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip so knot. So once you have your slip knot, you now want to make your foundation chain. And your foundation chain needs to be long enough to wrap around the width of your phone. So you must be able to wrap your foundation chain around the width of your phone. So you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like. And you also need to make your foundation chain an even number. So I'm just going to start chaining, making sure that I chain an even number and I'm just going to chain until my chain can fit around the width of my so phone. So I ended up chaining 24 and this was an even number that fitted nicely around the width of my chain. And just to finish off your foundation chain, you want to add an additional 4 chains onto the end of your chain. So you want to add 1, 2, three and then four additional chains onto the end of your foundation chain and this is just going to give your phone case a little bit of extra room so that your phone fits nicely so in once and out you have your foundation chain and this should be an even number and fit nicely around your phone you now want to turn your foundation chain into a foundation ring so we're going to turn our chain which we have here into a ring and we're going to do that by working a slip stitch into the very first chain that we made. So you want to go down to the first chain, so go all the way down to the first chain and you need to be careful that you do not twist your chain here. So you can go along it slowly like this all the way down to the first chain and this is the slip knot and this is the first chain and we're going to work a slip stitch into this chain here. So what you want to do to do a slip stitch is you want to insert your hook into the first chain then take your yarn and work a slip stitch. So simply pull your yarn through and then through again like that. And once you have done that you have turned your foundation chain into a foundation ring and we are now ready to move on to round one of our phone so case. So we are now on to round one of our phone case and we are going to start off by chaining one. So you want to start off round one by chaining one and now for round one we are going to work one single crochet into every single chain. So into every single chain around our ring you want to work one single crochet. So we are going to go into the first stitch here and make a first single crochet and to do a single crochet you insert your hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So that is one single crochet and you want to make a second one into the next chain along. So a second single crochet and then you want to make a single crochet into the next chain and the next one and you just want to do this all the way around for round one. One single crochet into each chain. So I have just worked that all the way around for round one, so that was one single crochet into every single chain. And now to finish off round one, we want to work a slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we worked. So here is the first single crochet that we worked. This little stitch here is the chain one, so the chain one that we worked at the beginning of round one. And we don't want to go into this stitch, we want to go into the very first single crochet. And into this single crochet we are going to work a slip stitch. So you want to insert your hook into the stitch, 
the first single crochet and we are now going to work a slip stitch. So you just want to pull the yarn through and then through again like that. And once you have done that, we are now ready to begin round two of our phone case. So we case. are now on to round two of our phone case and we are going to start round two by chaining one and turning. So you want to begin round two by chaining one and turning. And for round two, we are going to work a single crochet into one stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch. So a single crochet into one stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. All the way around for round two. So we have chained one and turned and our chain one does not count as anything. This doesn't count as a stitch, it just allows us to be in the right place. So we are going to start off with a single crochet. So you want to insert your hook into the very first stitch and into this stitch we're going to work a single crochet. So to do a single crochet you insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops and then into the next stitch we're going to work one double crochet. So to do a double crochet you yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So that was a single crochet into the first stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch and you want to repeat that all the way around for round two. Into the next stitch I'm going to work a single crochet and then into the next stitch I'm going to work a double crochet. Then into the next stitch a single crochet and the next one a double crochet. So you just want to repeat that all the way around for round two. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two. So that was a single crochet into one stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch. And the last stitch I worked was a double crochet as the first stitch I worked was a single crochet. So you should have finished off on a double crochet. And we are now going to finish off round two by working a slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we worked. So if you look at our work here, here is the first single crochet. This little stitch here is the chain one and we don't want to go into this stitch, we want to go into the single crochet. So we are going to go into this very first single crochet and simply work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and through again. And once you have done that, we are now ready to move on to round so three. So we are now on to round three of our phone case. And round three and all of the other rows of our phone case are going to be the exact same as round two. So you simply want to repeat round two for the rest of your phone case. So we are going to start off with a chain one and turn. And this is the exact same thing we did to start round two. And we are then just going to work single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way around for round two. And as we have chained one and turned, the first stitch that we are going to be working into is the last stitch of last round. And if you remember, the last stitch of last round was a double crochet. So we are going to be working our first single crochet into the top of the double crochet. And then we will work the double crochet into the single crochet, then the single crochet into the double crochet, then the double crochet into the single crochet. And you must make sure that you are doing that, that you are working a double crochet into a single crochet and a single crochet into a double crochet. That's really important to make sure that you get the pattern right. So we have chained one and turned and we are going to go into the very first stitch and work a single crochet. So we are going to go into this very first stitch here and work a single crochet and this is the last double crochet from last row and then into the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet. So you just want to repeat that all the way around for this round and it's the exact same thing as we just did for round two. Ok, 
Okay, so I have just come to the end of that round and that was just a repeat of round two. And I'm now going to finish off this round in the same way that I finished off round two. I'm going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And also it's important to note that the last stitch I worked was a double crochet again. As I started off with a single crochet, I should finish off on a double crochet. So I'm going to go into the very first single crochet that I worked and work a slip stitch. And again, make sure that you are going into the single crochet and not the chain one. And once you have done that, that was a repeat of round two, and you just want to repeat that again and again and again and again until you feel that your phone case is tall enough. So if you get your phone, you want your phone case to come up above your phone here. So just keep going and repeat round two again and again. I've done round two once and I just repeated it again. So I'm going to do that say another 10 times or something like that until my phone case is so tall So just enough. keep repeating round two. So start off with a chain one and turn and then work a single crochet into the first stitch and then a double crochet into the next. Single crochet, double crochet, all the way around and then finish off with a slip stitch into the first single crochet and just repeat that round again and again until your phone case is okay, tall enough. So I have just finished working that and I've worked lots and lots of rows up and now my phone fits nicely into its little case and by doing the one double crochet into one stitch and a single crochet into the next you get this really nice textured effect So what I'm here. now going to do to finish off the top edge of my um, phone case here is I'm just going to do a single crochet into each stitch around. So I have done a single crochet to finish off the last repeat of round two and I'm now just going to go into every single stitch and work a single crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops and I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and pull through both loops and the next one and just do this all the way around one single crochet into each stitch and you want to make sure that you don't do this too tight so don't do it too tight or you will have a small opening at the top but just do a nice single crochet into each stitch around. So once you have done that we have now almost finished our phone case and we are going to create the loop that connects to the button on the front of our phone case. So if you get your crochet hook here and kind of pull it out like this you create a loop and you can use this loop then to connect to the front of the phone case. So you case. want to take a button so I'm just going to select one of my buttons that I'm going to use so you want to figure out whereabouts you want to attach your button. So I'm going to sew mine on about here. And then you want to take your loop and work out how long your loop needs to be to fit around your button. And it needs to be quite snug so that it stays together and doesn't come apart. But then at the same time, you don't want it too tight or your yarn might break. So you need to get the perfect length so for your loop. So I have sewn my button on and I have worked out the length that I need this loop to be. So what you now want to do is you want to cut your yarn leaving a nice long tail to make sure that your loop and your work is all finished securely. If you just cut it, it will come undone. So you need to leave a nice long tail. And what you want to do is you want to thread your yarn into a yarn needle and then simply weave this end into the inside of your work. So make sure that your loop is the right length and then weave this end nice and securely into the inside of your phone okay, case. Okay, so I have very nearly finished my phone case and this is what I have so far. And the final thing we need to do is sew up the bottom of our phone case. So you want to take a piece of yarn, a nice long piece of yarn in the same colour and you want to take a yarn needle and I have one of the ones with the plastic squidgy ends which are much easier to use. And you want to thread your yarn needle and then you are going to take your work and fold it in half and you're going to go into the very corner and go in through one side and then go into the same stitch on the opposite side and pull this through like that. Then you want to go into the next stitch and then go into the same stitch on the opposite side and pull this through and then into the next stitch and onto the same stitch on the opposite side 
and just continue to do this all the way along to sew up the bottom of your so thin case. So gone all the way along the bottom and you want to make sure that you go into the very, very corner. So go right to the end and I actually think it's a good idea to go back over all of the stitches. So to turn your work and then to go back over everything back down. So to go along it a second time. And this is going to really, really make sure that your bottom is very so secure. So I have now completely finished my phone case. I have weaved all of the ends into the inside of my case, attached my button, my phone fits inside of it nicely, and I have sewn up the bottom of my phone case. So I have completely so finished. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.